Okay. All right. Right now, we you guys are. We're gonna make. What are we gonna make? Uh, I think it's like a mango smoothie, something. Yep. Whatever. Mango slushy is the word I wanted to use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the ice crushing. So let's move back just a little bit. I'm gonna test out the ice crushing ability. I've got a bunch of ice here. We're gonna test out the ice crushing ability of the blend tech, and then we're gonna blend the mango after. Maybe with it, but there's probably a couple ways you could do that, but we really wanted to know, can the blend tech really crush up ice as good as vitamins? Mm -hmm. There's our ice. There is one. That one we're not gonna bring because I don't want to touch it because my hands have gotten, they, they're not as clean as I'd like them to be. So, here we go. They were clean when I washed my mango and when I put the ice in the trays. And you can have that ice go for it. Okay, so here, are you guys ready? So here we go, we'll turn our blender on, and we're going to use our ice crushing, right Kyle? Right. Okay, so here we go. Surprise, we didn't have to is use that, a tamper to push this down. Snow? It's like snow, but let's take let's have a taste of it real quick. Here. Take just don't take all of it, take part of it, because I want to give Kyle some too. Here. Mm. It's like snow. Yep, it could be crushed a little more, right? Right. But it's definitely it's a pretty fine crush for not having any water in there and not having anything to push it down with. But let's go ahead and just do it a little more and see what we can get it to. Okay, so I think we got it about as good as we're going to get it. It did blend a little bit more, and it's, it looks pretty nice. I'm going to show you one more time. But we're going to go ahead then, and I'm not sure if I want to keep the ice in here, or if I want to just, and add just the, the mango to it, or if I want to take the... I think we're going to take the mango out real quick. I mean, we're going to take the ice out really quick. But I think that it's going to blend better if we have the ice on the top of the mango. It looks like snow, right guys? Yeah, yeah. Snow. Okay, yep. In case you wanted to see again our snow from our blender. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our pre cut up organic mango. There's two pretty good sized mangoes in there. Are you going to put the ice? And we're going to put the ice back in with it. This time it's going to be on top. Okay. I got some ice balls. Thank okay. you, Levi. All right. You want to eat, lick that spoon off? Okay. Now, let's see what the blend tech does with this. With our Mango slushy. Looks like it's blending our mango pretty good. The ice is not blending with it. So what we're going to do, since the ice is not blending good with it, we're going to go ahead and get a clean spoon. And we're just going to push this down mix it all together a little bit and see if we can get it to blend up nice and smooth together. And that means that we might have to do this in a different order in the future. But we know that the blender can crush ice pretty good just by itself. So I'm very happy about that. testing again now. Me. And Levi and Levi and Kyle. Okay, here, tell me how that is. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. What's it
it taste like, you guys? Mango water. Mango water? Is it icy mango water? Yeah. And what do you think? Slushy? Icy? Ice mango water. Ice mango water? I'm going to do a taste test, too, so I can give my personal testament. Mmm. Nice icy mango. <laughs> um, so there you have it. That's a blend tech <laughs> blender blending up crushing ice without a tamper to push it down with, which is pretty cool. And then we blended the mango. You saw that we had to actually push the ice down into the mango after we did it. Question I would have, and I'll do next time maybe, is just to put the, blend, the mango on the bottom and then the ice on top and then just blend it and see how that works. After it has a little liquid from the mango in it, I'm thinking that it might just crush up the ice really good, but I really wanted to try that um, ice out by itself. So we will see you soon. Bye. Oh, Bye. and Bye. just so you know, this is my breakfast, but you guys already had some breakfast. What did you have? Chocolate covered pretzels. You didn't have chocolate covered pretzels today, but I know you do have those sometimes. They're organic chocolate covered pretzels from Whole cereal. Foods, right? Cereal. cereal. Right? Is that what you had today? Yeah. Cereal? It was Nature's Path cereal, right? Yeah. Was it the Heritage or the what, Mesa, Mesa Sunrise? Sunrise. Okay. Mesa Sunrise. All right. And we buy a Heritage. No, I'm not. All right. So I'm actually drinking this now. Um, I was drinking it. It's kind of thick, but now I'm eating it. Mm. This is awesome. It's, it's like smooth, almost like ice cream is smooth, right? Yeah. But it's very icy. Um, this is like the perfect treat for summer. And um, I don't know if you can see me. I don't made my head's not in there. This is definitely something that I really am going to do a lot more. Just blending up mangoes with ice in a um, blend tech, good stuff. <laughs> Why did you say that? Because I don't like to be on camera. Okay, well you don't have to be on camera anymore. Hi. So, they, these kids and my wife, Chilla, my kids, they are eating popcorn that was popped in an air popper so there was no oil used to pop it but then I'm guessing you put some oil on it what did you use? Flax oil. So you used some flax oil and then some what sea salt? Sea salt and nutritional yeast. Oh and they put nutritional yeast on it too. Nutritional yeast has lots of nutrients in it and it gives it a flavor. Um, for those of you who don't know but it's um, not something that you guys normally put on, right? Mm, once in a while. Okay. So anyways, there's a good snack idea for something that's pretty healthy. And um, although some people would argue that no oil, that all oils are unhealthy. And I can understand why they say that and there might be some truth in that. Um, at least flax oil has good omega-3s, the alpha-linoleic acid in it, and... Um, there is also, well, it's it's good for you, comparing to a lot of things that you could have. And popcorn um, is is not a bad food comparing to a lot of things you could eat. And especially considering that it's made at home, it's a simple snack, um, made from whole popcorn. So, anyways. And you can pop it in your pot too, but then you have to use oil. Honey. Right. Yeah. So true. It, true. We used popcorn. to do that. We used to put, pop it in a pot, and sometimes we would use. Um, organic safflower or sunflower oil because those are good high heat oils and sometimes we'd use organic coconut oil to pop it with and um, organic coconut oil works good too but um, it definitely can burn if you get the um, pan too hot so you have to just make sure that you stay on top of your popcorn don't leave it sitting around with um, coconut oil in it so anyway thought I would just add that to the day so you'd kind of know what else we had to eat um, and I didn't include our tofu scramble with toast that we ate. And so um, that's another thing we had to eat today. There is Levi. And there is Kyle and Mommy, Jilla. And she's pushing Lexi in the stroller. I'll wait, I'll wait for you too, Levi.
There's another family member. There's a bike. So, Levi, can I see him? Yeah. I like scooters and rollerblades. All right, Levi just caught him on our rollerblading slash bike riding slash scooter riding. So this is part of the Spring Canyon Park, which is very big. This is just a very small section of it in Fort Collins, Colorado. Beautiful area. We live in Fort Collins right now, but we might not live here for long. Definitely a great place in a lot of ways, but everything, every place has its ups and downs.